So, uh, as you know, you applied for a visa position here at JK. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself before we get started. My name is Scott Rodriguez. I'm 23. I just recently graduated from Dallas Southern Adult Institution. So, uh, I'm in a student job in the Visa here. It was about a year and a year and a half. Um, I've always been interested in working on vehicles and just being available to be my own schedule and stuff like that. Uh, do you have any prior experience with prior to school, um, um, automotive or anything? Yeah, I used to work for the Jacksonville Park as a level one mechanic. Okay. Still a lot of Okay. Uh, how long did you work there? For about a year. Okay. How long did you work there? Until I started school. Then I so did. you said light maintenance, like oil change? Oil change, tire rotation, okay. um, fluids and all that. Alright. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Well, let me tell you a little bit about what we offer here at JK. Uh, what we offer is we do have an automotive side, we have a diesel side, and even the commercial truck driving side. It depends on where you want to go is where we can, you know, we can put you in all three fields. Uh, but as you said, you're in an interest in diesel. Now, we do have a job as a thing working as a mobile mechanic. Is that something you'd be interested in? Yeah, I'm really, I mean, I'm already interested in that field, so I mean, whatever comes with it, I'm willing to do. Okay. Um, have you graduated school or are you still in school? Well, How's your schedule? My, How's your schedule? I'm on my last three months. Okay. And my schedule is like Monday to Monday to Tuesday, Thursday to four thirty p.m. and then Wednesday, ten thirty a.m. to twelve p.m. All right. So we, if we gave you the job, would you want to come in after you got off school on Wednesday, or would you rather have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off and then work? Oh no, uh, part time Thursday through Saturday. Yeah, I'll close on Sunday. I'd be fine working. You know, just give me some time off there just so it's like five o'clock. Okay, so I'm coming in around five and show clothes and yeah. okay. Um, okay. Um, what else? Uh, hmm. Do you have a uh, reliable transportation? Yeah, I just need to make sure you mind back and forth. I got four kids. Okay, you got four kids, yeah. all right. Um, are you looking for a specific type of pay, a certain amount you're looking to make? I mean, we do it two ways. I mean, if we if you get hired for this position, you'll be on probation for the first year, which means of course, you're basically under my radar. And uh, you can't get in any trouble. Of course, there's a drug free environment, so you will have to pass a drug, a drug test. You'll have to do uh, pass a background check. I'm sure you'll be able to do that. Um, and then your first year of probation basically means you'll be on an hourly wage. Okay. And then it's, it can last up to the first year, but you can get to a point where if you do get hired for the mobile mechanic position, that it will go from an hourly rate to a per unit rate, so depending on when you feel comfortable and I feel comfortable with your your speed on each vehicle per vehicle. If I think you're better at the hourly rate versus the per unit rate, I would suggest to set the hourly rate. But I was just wondering if, it, if you're already set on a certain amount of money. I mean, no. So it's like if it's per unit, like when you look at numbers, you know I can do work, but I'm definitely interested in going per unit. Okay, so per unit. So you are interested in a mobile mechanic. Now, are you, are, you said you have four kids. Are you married? Are you single? I'm single with four kids. Okay. Are you the full custodian for these? I got two kids with me and she has two kids. Okay, so. They're all mine, but right. these two are like family members. Would traveling be an issue for you? It would not because my parents, two mothers, Okay, my parents can't work after. So at least it would be, you, I just wanted to make sure if I hired you for the mobile mechanic that you had someone to take care of yeah. your children that you're not hiding in the back of the truck and taking them to Orlando or Miami with you and okay. stuff like that. But of course, if you do get the, the mobile position, it would be for anywhere in the state of Florida, tri-state area. You need to go to South Alabama, maybe South Georgia, and uh, 
something that would be in our future years. No. We would say it would not. Okay. Um, Long run back on Monday. Okay. We will definitely work with your school schedule. You sound like you're uh, you're in this for the long haul, right? You're not just gonna. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking to move up. I'm looking for every. I'm looking for everything. Okay. Well, of course, if you get hired, I mean, it's all pretty promising for you right now. I looked at your resume that you emailed to me, and uh, it looks really good. You're at the top of the list right now. So what we'll do is I'll get back to you as soon as I talk to my supervisor and go through a little bit more interviews and processes. If you get the job, of course, uh, you have to do some training and everything. And other than that, I mean, you sound like you already know what you're doing. So uh, you, uh, you know, start whenever I, I, I got the ability to, to start you with the way you're going to knock the next month. So, all right. Uh, any questions? I do not have any questions. I mean, I'm interested. I already did. I already did my research about the company. All right. Well, if you have any questions, I will give you. You know, my email and my, my phone number. Just give me a call. And then, of course, if you don't hear anything from me for in a week, just give me a buzz. You know, I'm busy, but I'll get to you as soon as I can. All right. All right. Good. That sounds good. All right. All right. Thanks, man, for having me today. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Well,